The world is changing, with some outrageously ambitious megaprojects being announced in recent years. For some reason, a huge portion of these planned megaprojects originate in Tokyo, a seismically active area that experiences hundreds of little and big earthquakes a year. From a hexagonal structure that is twice as tall as the Burj Khalifa, a skyscraper that looks like Mount Fuji and is 4,000 meters tall, to an imaginative tower that would have been a whole kilometer taller than Mount Everest, we'll examine six of Tokyo's most incredible megaprojects and learn why they were even proposed in the first place. Welcome to Top Futuristic. Today, we'll be taking a look at Tokyo and some of its incredible mega projects. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel to get more amazing videos like this. Tokyo's metropolitan region is the world's largest, with an estimated population of over 40 million people. The greater Tokyo area alone is home to around 30% of the whole Japanese population. The city is one of the most densely populated urban areas in the world. With very little developable land, housing Tokyo's large population has proven increasingly problematic. As a result, the city began to develop skyward to accommodate its tens of millions of citizens. Sky City 1000 The first mega-project on our list is the Sky City 1000. Announced in 1989, Sky City is a proposed skyscraper that would have been 1,000 tall. Although this may be the smallest project on our list, this building would have been the tallest in the world surpassing even the Burj Khalifa in Dubai by up to 170 meters. Sky City, like some of the other mega projects on this list, was proposed during the height of the Japanese asset price bubble, when real estate and stock values were considerably inflated compared to their actual intrinsic value. As a result, many organizations, such as Take Mecca Corporation, who suggested this project, were very optimistic about its prospects. The Sky City 1000 was intended to be made up of 14 dish-shaped aerial bases, also known as space plateaus, that would be placed on top of one another. The border of each plateau was subsequently set aside for residential units that would have accommodated more than 35,000 people, with the middle of each base being the location for a sizable green space replete with its own artificial pond. The proposal also called for separate trains to travel around each of the 14 plateaus. When the project was first revealed back in 1989, it received a lot of media coverage, not just in Japan, but also in other parts of the world. By the turn of the 21st century, many people saw the mega project as the skyscraper of the future, and it even appeared on an episode of Extreme Engineering on the Discovery Channel. The building's high-speed elevators were already being constructed and tested in experimental labs. However, despite all of the planning, preparation, and international attention, the Sky City 1000 idea was never fulfilled as a result of an economic downturn. Sky Mile Tower With a proposed height of 1,700 meters, this project upon completion would be twice the height of the Burj Khalifa. The Sky Mile Tower was announced as part of the next Tokyo 2045 program, a program aimed at proffering possible solutions to Tokyo's population problem and increasing sea levels. The skyscraper was designed with the long-term effects of climate change, and increasing sea levels in mind. The Sky Mile skyscraper would be the focal point of this futuristic construction, and would be a megacity in its own right. Due to the city's scarcity of developable land, the plan for next Tokyo 2045 would require the construction of artificial islands in Tokyo Bay. The skyscraper itself is expected to have around 400 floors and can house up to 55,000 people at once. The hexagonal design of the Sky Mile Towers is not just for show. Extensive wind tests and simulations were performed prior to project planning, and the same hexagonal shape was shown to have the maximum resilience to heavy winds. Given the tower's enormous height, vertical slots along its length were also planned to allow high-altitude winds to flow through. One of the initial issues encountered by the project during the planning stage was the supply of water to individuals on higher floors. It was revealed that pumping water from the bottom to the top would have been too expensive and inefficient. Because of this, the Sky Mile Tower is capable of collecting and treating rainwater and vapor in the atmosphere below the tower. There will also be hexagonal structures that will not only serve as artificial islands on their own, but are also meant to reduce the impact of approaching waves from Tokyo Bay. Some of these structures may even serve as ports for incoming cargo and passenger ships. The Sky Mile skyscraper and its accompanying futuristic city are expected to be finished by 2045. However, the project remains only a concept proposal up to this day, 
and no major developments on actual construction have begun. Aeropolis 2001 The Aeropolis 2000 is a visionary project that was planned in 1989 at over 500 stories high and 2,000 them tall. The Aeropolis would arguably be the architectural icon of 21st century Tokyo if it is ever finished. The structure would be built a few kilometers off the coast in Tokyo Bay on an artificial island with a diameter of around 700 meters and could have housed up to 140,000 people. Aeropolis 2001 will also include a high-speed shuttle lift that will transport residents from the bottom to the top floor in under 15 minutes. The structure is estimated to take no less than 60 years to complete and will cost a whopping $330 billion. Shimizu Mega City Pyramid With a height of 2,004 meters, the Shimizu Mega City Pyramid, which was inspired by the ancient pyramids of Giza, would be the largest man-made structure in history. This massive project is designed to withstand the test of time and all natural disasters that may occur. The proponent of this mega project is the Shimizu Corporation, an engineering firm that is no stranger when it comes to ambitious and futuristic construction proposals. They have also talked about plans like building an underwater city and building a power station on the surface of the moon. The pyramid structure would be composed of 204 smaller, individual pyramids stacked on top of each other to create the larger structure. The pyramid itself would actually be hollow and would serve as a superstructure for the 100-story skyscrapers that would be built inside and would also serve as a barrier that could withstand strong winds, typhoons, earthquakes, and even the power of a tsunami. The entire mega-project could house up to a million people and be completely self-sustaining. To generate electricity to power the entire pyramid, a photovoltaic film will be put on the structure's trusses. In addition to solar energy, the pyramid will be equipped with wind and wave energy systems. The structure's maintenance will be performed by automated systems, robots, and artificial intelligence. In fact, the sheer magnitude of this mega-project is so enormous that it cannot be built using today's building materials and technology without the entire structure collapsing under its own weight. The project is dependent on the availability of strong, lightweight experimental materials such as graphene. The Mega City Pyramid's initial building schedule called for it to begin in 2030. However, no actual development or substantial planning has occurred since the concept was first proposed. X. Seed 4000. In 1995, a proposed hypothetical skyscraper called the X Seed 4000 was designed. The building is supposed to imitate Mount Fuji, one of Japan's most famous landmarks. If the X Seed 4000 had ever been finished, it would have reached a height of 4000 m making it higher than Mount Fuji and the highest point in the entire nation. The structure would have been a megacity of its own, with a total of 700 stories and the capacity to house 1 million permanent residents due to the building's extensive internal services and amenities. Residents of this hypothetical skyscraper may live there for years without ever leaving the building. One interesting design consideration for the XC 4000 was that the building would have had to include actively pressurized rooms on the higher floors in order for people to not experience altitude sickness similar to an airplane cabin. The tower is also intentionally designed to have openings along the structures to allow for winds to circulate around the building and not cause too much pressure on the foundations. Tokyo Tower of Babel Our final mega project for today's video is the incredible Tokyo Tower of Babel which was modeled after the Biblical Tower of Babel. At 10,000 meters above the ground, the Tokyo Tower of Babel is the tallest and most ambitious structure ever designed. The structure is designed to be more than one kilometer taller than Mount Everest, making it not only the world's tallest building, but also the tallest object to ever exist on Earth. Japanese architect and engineer Toshi Ojima from Waseda University first put up the idea for the Tokyo Tower of Babel in 1992. The tower was a visionary construction, meant to house up to 30 million people and function as a self-sustaining city. The base for the entire construction alone would have been as large as 4,100 square kilometers, approximately double the size of the entire Tokyo metropolitan region. However, it is extremely doubtful that this project will ever be constructed. According to estimates, the Tokyo Tower of Babel may have cost up to 22 trillion US dollars, or over a fourth of the global GDP and the project's completion time was predicted to be as long as 150 years. As Tokyo's population continues to rise, it's no surprise that the city has proposed so many of these incredible mega-projects. 
As a result of the inherent difficulties that the country experiences as a result of periodic earthquakes and tsunamis, Japanese architects and engineers have mastered the art of building structures that can endure nature's wrath. Do you think any of these insane mega projects will ever be built? What do you think future skyscrapers will look like? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in our next video.